So what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood, then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job, too, as I understand it. But... I hope to have children someday. It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So, I chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. That's why we're here now. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation, and we can have him arrested. He cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but I have an idea where we can begin the search. There are rumors of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. What are you up to? This isn't money. It's colored paper. You've cheated me for the last time. God!
So what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood, then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job, too, as I understand it. But... I hope to have children someday. It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So, I chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. That's why we're here now. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation, and we can have him arrested. He cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but I have an idea where we can begin the search.
solved in today's Chronicle. There are rumors of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. Your joints excruciate, ears sanguinate, or feet distend and tumefy. You have but one new and miraculous ointment to turn. Montgomery's your ointment.
invite you to see the season's beauties in their market-side shop. Are you in need of a first-grade rapier? Does your cutlass... I've heard what happened at the market. Boss wants everyone back at the shop. Says we strike tonight. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I've never spotted trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I've taken care to keep the distance. Can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up like kings, they will. Nah, revolution. Bunch of troublemakers looking to upset the apple cart. There's some fool filled their heads with rubbish. Ruining it for the rest of us good folk. Good folk? Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to survive in this cold, cruel world. Everyone back at the shop says we strike tonight. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I haven't had a spot of trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I'm taking care to keep my distance. Can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. Reverend Julius Foster will be guest preacher this Sunday at St. Mary's for the good of all souls. I heard what happened at the market. Boss wants everyone back at the shop. Says we strike tonight. Be worried about that business with the guards. I'm telling you, it's nothing. I've never spotted trouble since I slipped away. Of course, I'm taking care to keep my distance. Can't believe we're really gonna do this. We'll be heroes. The ones who ended all this talk of revolution. They'll set us up like kings, they will. Nah. Revolution. Trouble makers looking to upset the apple cart. As some fool with their head of rubble. Ruin the rest of us good folk. Good folk? Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to survive in this cold, cruel world. <laughs>
What's this? Thomas Hickey? Might be. What's it to you? Huh. Oh, ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! You're a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy -o. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, well, we were just having a scrap, officer. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Course not! Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... Ah. Me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. 
Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel Weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. He even told me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. going stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit what are you looking at half-breed you not understand English that it I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours. I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame. As I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? Treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <laughs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? 
thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this. George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. But it's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. it. Took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. He is useless. What are you looking at? You in the market for us, Bin? Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why don't you just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? He might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. How do I reach the Warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. 
What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die. yourself a trouble thing, eh? Some time in the pits to cool your blood. Look at all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. You bide your time, awaiting the day of release that you might corrupt a... Need to take care not to raise the alarm. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. Not who you was expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. 
Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of uh, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Huh. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> those years ago the child in the forest was you I said I would find you <gasps> and so you have but not quite as you had expected am I right mm -hmm. you know all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked ah but what's done is done <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham sort of that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving!
play when you need us. Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Uh, up you go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what'll get you. A pine box and little else. Brothers, sisters, fellow patriots. Several days ago, we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed, what darkness or madness moved him, none can say, and he himself offers no defense, shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows, he maintains a deadly silence. If the man will not explain himself, if he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy. And thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on your soul. Need to stop, Piggy. Go!
damn it. God have mercy on your soul. Live to see another day. Shame. I want answers. Why did Johnson try and buy my people's land? Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? Why does your order support the British? How should I know? The Templars, Lee, the big man, Haytham. They asked the money, they asked the power. That's the reason I threw him with them. That's the only reason. Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps. Don't bother me none. They paid me, so I said yes. 
Didn't bother to ask who, or how, or why. Didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle, anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek, had it even. You, your hands will always be empty. I said, lower your goddamn gun! This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop. He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. <clears throat> You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. Quite impressive what you've accomplished. Is that a compliment? Then don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearn for freedom but fear to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role, but you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right, no more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to, otherwise he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars, as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. And for the support of this declaration... We must now all hang together. Yes, we must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. <laughs> Everything all right? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil.
You there, Rebecca? Bad reception. Can you hear me? Well, glad to see that's working. Guess I'll try you back when I'm topside. Tycoon's trophy wife. We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security Sir, instead. Pode entrar. Bilhete, por favor. Preciso. doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Sir, pode entrar. Preciso ver seu bilhete. Hide! Hide! Você viu este homem? Chame a segurança imediatamente, se ouvir. Great. They've set up a checkpoint. Segurança! Doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Your 
Your target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is at the end of this concourse. Você viu esse homem? Chame a segurança imediatamente, Filipe. Great. They've set up a checkpoint. Stick close to the crowd and you should be okay. Or look for a way around it. Ele está aqui! Ele está aqui! O homem do cartazes! Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? Time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. Uh, what if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone if you do. Eu não posso. Ele, ele sumiu. Mas ele não poderia ter ido longe. Eu vi ele faz pouco tempo. Watch your back. They're on you. Looks like I'm close. Shit! Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to find another way around. Security. Olha, aconteceu, só isso. A gente não queria que acontecesse. Só aconteceu. Sinto muito. Sente muito? Ela é minha irmã, cara. A porra da minha irmãzinha. Almost there, Dustin. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side? He's the one! 
I fucked up, Warren. I fucked up. We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. third power source already it popped up in an earlier search but I've only just managed to confirm it where there's a museum in Cairo with one on display I guess Connor will have to wait no you stay we need to find that key and time is running out I'll make the trip what about cross everything's going to be fine I'll be back soon Ready when you are, Desmond. Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. 
How dare you? Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha!
So, what can I do for you, Menir? Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. 
a traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find Church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there.
father. Connor, any last words? Wait, a poor choice. <laughs> Come to check up on Church? Make sure he'd stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. <sighs> Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. And what do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... <clears throat> perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him. There were rations inside the crates, medical supplies and clothing as well. Snow has obscured the tracks, but enough remains that we can still follow. Just my luck. Going to freeze to death if I don't get this fixed. Are you Ben Church's man? Well played. It was not wise to run. What do you want? Where is Benjamin Church? I don't know. We was riding for a cup just north of here. It's where we'd normally unload the cargo. Maybe you'll find him there. Enough of that. You did not have to kill him. Let's not waste time with all this pointless banter. Go catch up with the rest of Church's Ben. Infiltrate that camp of theirs and see what you can discover. And what about you? Never you mind. Just do as I ask.
They should have done that a long time ago. All this fight serves no purpose. Crowds will win in the end. Wait till they try. Looks to be in order. Go and see the foreman. There's another run planned for tonight. Convoys. We're to steal from the Yank camp itself. Valley Fool. That's right. You sure about this? It's not my business to be sure or not sure. I just do as the church asks. If you're so concerned, take it up with him. Is he here? <laughs> Of course not. Hiding in New York the last I heard. Trying to keep a low profile. Well, on account of him not wanting to go back to jail and all. Alright, I'm in. Look what we found. He was creeping around the camp all suspicious-like. Must be a Yank spy. 
Ah, uh, he's something else. Something special. Isn't that right, Haytham? Church told me all about you. And you should know better than this. <clears throat> You're not really in a position to be making threats, are ya? Not yet. Meet me in New York. What? You mean to just leave? Now? If you can't handle a couple of mercenaries, then we've really no business working together. Unbelievable. Once you've dealt with these houses, meet me in New York. What? You mean to just leave? Now? If you can't handle a couple of mercenaries, then we've really no business working together. Unbelievable.
Evening, Connor. I see you made it here in one piece. <laughs> Recovered from your beating, then? Benjamin Church is holed up on an abandoned brewery on the waterfront. We should be done with this by sunrise. Good. I would like to have those supplies returned as soon as possible. Of course. I wouldn't want to keep you from your lost cause. Come along, then. Follow me. Tell me something. Hmm? You could have killed me when we first met. What stayed your hand? Curiosity. Any other questions? What is it the Templars truly seek? Order. Purpose. Direction. No more than that. It's your lot that means to confound with this nonsense talk of freedom. Time was. The Assassins professed a far more sensible goal. That for peace. Freedom is peace. Oh no. It's an invitation to chaos. Only look at this little revolution your friends have started. I have stood before the Continental Congress and listened to them stamp and shout. All in the name of liberty. But it is just noise. And this is why you favor Lee? He understands the needs of this would-be nation far better than the Jobinels who profess to represent it. It seems your tongue has tasted sour grapes. The people have made their choice, and it was Washington. People chose nothing. It was done by a group of privileged cowards seeking only to enrich themselves. They convened in private and made a decision that would benefit them. Oh, they might have dressed it up with pretty words. That does not make it true. The only difference, Connor, the only difference between myself and those you aid is that I do not feign affection.
Hold a moment. Church, you clever bastard. What is it? I was hoping I could wave you past the guards, but it has replaced most of them with men I don't know. Hmm. Well, I should be able to pass without arousing suspicion, but you... No. We do this together or not at all. Then what do you propose? I will find a guard who is off duty and take his uniform. Very well. I will wait here then. Of course you will. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you like me to come along and hold your hand, perhaps? Provide kind words of encouragement? That should suffice. Follow me. Hold, strangers. You tread on private property. What business have you here? The Father of Understanding guides us. You I recognize, not the savage. He is my son. Tasted of the forest fruits, did you? Off you go, then. be strange for you, discovering my existence as you have. I'm actually curious to know what your mother might have said about me. I've always wondered what life might have been like had she and I stayed together. How was she, by the way? Dead. Murdered. What? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, you're sorry? I found my mother burning alive. I'll never forget her face as she sent me away. Charles Lee is responsible for her death by your order. And you're sorry. It's impossible. I gave no such order. I spoke the opposite, in fact. I told them to give up the search for the precursor site. We were to focus on a more practical pursuit. It is done. And I'm all out of forgiveness. Benjamin Church, you stand accused of betraying the Templar Order and abandoning our principles in pursuit of personal gain. In consideration of your crime, I hereby sentence you to death. No! You're too late. Church and the cargo are long gone. And I'm afraid you won't be in any condition to follow. We've chosen to stand with the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always did prefer principle to profit. Perhaps that's why your little king... You must 
started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight, like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boy. Those two, get him! Don't let them escape! Get him! The Indian too! Take him down! That one, and he's half free! Surround them! We've chosen to stand. With the victor. It's Britain who will win this war. You always. prefer principle to profit. Perhaps that's why your little kingdom started to crumble. It was a nice dream you had, but a dream is all it ever was. Look at the half-breed fight, like some feral dog. Best we put him down, boy. Those two! Get him! Careful, Connor. There's more! Don't let them escape! Get him! The Indian, too! Take him down! That one! And he's half free! Where is Church? I'll tell you. Anything you want. Only promise that you'll let me live. You have my word. He left yesterday for Martinique. Took passage on a trading sloop called the Welcome. Loaded half its hold with the supplies he stole from the Patriots. That's all I know, I swear. You promised. And he kept his word. Let's go. You don't say. Now is not the time for sightseeing. So close, yet so far. We'll need to find a way around the flames. Get back here, traitors! Oh, how I'll enjoy making you pay for your betrayal. Did Church pay you well? Were you rewarded handsomely? And what good does your gold do you now? See if you can find something to pry it open. Honor? What are you up to? Oh, no. Don't do that, there's no way of knowing what's on the other side!
We do now. Church is at least a day on us. We must move quickly for to catch him. I have a ship we can use. Meet me on the pier when you're ready. Shall we? I told you this was a poor heading. Church is surely days ahead of us now. Have some faith in the boy. He's yet to disappoint. Well, the bar's not been set very high now, has it? We are closer than you think, Father. the welcome. Aye, and she's dropped anchor. Bring us in for a closer look, son. Reduce speed. It seems the ship has been abandoned. Church always was a slippery little bastard.
speed, Connor! We need more speed! Have a chance.
Men, prepare to board! What are you doing? Ending this. What has Church done with the cargo? What has Church done with the cargo? It's been quite an adventure. Let me tell you. 
working my way through your nasty little tricks and traps. Clever! Some of them, anyway. I'll give you credit for that. And... <coughs> came here for a reason. Different reasons, it seems. Where are the supplies you stole? Island beyond her. Awaiting pickup. But you've no right to it. It isn't yours. No. Not mine. Those supplies are meant for men and women who believe in something bigger than themselves. Who fight and die that one day they might be free from tyranny such as yours. <laughs> are these the same men and women who fight with muskets forged from British steel? who bind their wounds with bandages sewn by British hands. How convenient for them. We do the work. They reap the rewards. You spin a story to excuse your crimes, as though you're the innocent one and they the thieves. It's all a matter of perspective. There is no single path through life that's right and fair and does no harm. Do you truly think the Crown has no cause? No right to feel betrayed? You should know better than this. How dedicated as you are to fighting Templars, who themselves see their work as just. Think on that the next time you insist your work alone befits the greater good. Your enemy would beg to differ. And would not be without God. Samaniyos kinaa, nagtiyah nete kanto si Tokaske. Did well. His passing was a boon for us both. Come on. I expect you'll want my help retrieving everything from the island. I have been reunited with my father, but I do not yet know if this bodes well or ill. Our goals are aligned, at least so far as independence is concerned. But he continues to defend Charles Lee, the man who murdered my mother and burned my village. Still, he makes a point about Washington and those who back him. I hear much talk of freedom and equality. But it seems one must be a landed white man to benefit. What if someone like me? Or Suri? What role for us in this new world? Is my father right then? There is so much I must consider and so little time in which to do it. Welcome back. And how was Martinique? Achilles, I... I owe you an apology. It was wrong of me to say the things I did. Your words were harsh, Connor. But there was also truth there. I failed the order. Allowed the Templars to take control. But now their hold is weakened. Which makes me believe there's a chance for peace. 
Imagine what might be accomplished if we were to unite. Why the change of heart? Where is this coming from? You've met your father, haven't you? I do not claim to trust the man or even like him. But I would be remiss to ignore this opportunity. Haytham may listen, but will he understand? And even if he does, will he agree? Even he must admit that we can achieve more together than we do alone. I assume you're off to find him. Yes. I ride for New York to see what might be done.
What's in your mind then? Where is your leader? You'll never get to him. He's surrounded by twice as many men, twice as tough as this lot. You must be him. I've been waiting too long. I know who the traitors are, and they're bringing lists of the Patriot leaders around here to the Redcoats right now. Find a way to swap this fake list with the real ones, and the Rebellion can fight on.
need to know what the Loyalists are planning, if we're to put an end to this. I've tried, but the soldiers themselves are told nothing now, only to await orders from above. Keep digging. Come find me when you have something worth sharing. We're so close to victory. A few more well-placed attacks and we'll be able to put an end to the civil war and be rid of the crowd. What do you intend? Well, nothing at the moment, since we're completely in the dark. I thought the Templars had eyes and ears everywhere. Oh, we did. Until you started cutting them off. Your contact said orders from above. It tells us exactly what we need to do. Track down the Loyalist commanders. Have you considered the proposal? I'm unconvinced. To reinforce them would leave New York exposed. It's hard enough maintaining order with our current numbers. Cut in half. Yet if we do not join with them, they risk defeat. And then what? Well, they should have come by sea. Talking in circles. We're nothing watching as we are. Then what do you propose we do? March in there and demand answers? Well, yes. Connor, help here. Keep the commanders alive, Connor. We can interrogate them.
We'll bring them back to my quarters at Fort George and see what secrets they might share. <sighs> really? Well, you'd best get after him then. You go. I will watch the prisoners. No, you do it. Why me? Because I said so! Now go! said move. Wait, wait. I I'll tell you anything you want. Anything. Only don't make We just have some there. questions for you. Cross that threshold and I'm a dead man. There you are, Connor. I was worried you might have gotten lost. Come along, then. What are the British planning? To march from Philadelphia. That city's finished. New York's the key. They'll double our numbers, push back the rebels. When do they begin? Two days from now. June 18th. I must warn Washington. You see? That wasn't so very difficult now, was it? I I've told you everything. N now let me go. Of course. The other two said the same. It must be true. You killed him. You killed all of them. Why? They'd have warned the Loyalists. You could have held them until the fight was done. What? And waste precious time and money on their care? What would be the point? They'd given up everything they knew. I'll meet you at Valley Forge. The Postmaster wishes to inform the populace of a slight increase in the fees to be collected for all Transatlantic correspondence!
Anything. We'll take anything you can offer us. These two chase us and beat us when they can. You can draw them away. We could take just enough to fill our bellies for the night. The best products come directly from the Rhineland. Now and Still now. too close, mister. Draw them up farther. For the amateur sailor or fishing enthusiast, water's light... Too many eyes on us. Also, in today's New York Mercury.
Monsieur Conner, a pleasure as always. What brings you? I wanted to ask you something. Why is this revolution so important to you? Hmm. Since I decided to embark upon this adventure, through all the lords and merchants and soldiers I've spoken to, you are the first to ask me this. Have you ever been to France? I have not. One day, when all of this is over, I will invite you to Paris to stay with me and my family. She is the most beautiful city in all the world, Connor. Full of art and culture, women and wine. But she is sick on the inside, black and rotting. But here, here is something quite different. On the outside, the colonies are dirty and dangerous, unforgiving and uncivilized. But on the inside, they glow. And that is why I am here. To learn. I want to return home, able to touch France's black heart, and make it glow once more. Ah, Connor. What do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered. Focused. It is good you have come. Ah, uh, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. <laughs> I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, 
threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rode for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. <laughs> I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less. Should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British crown or the Templar cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes, but you have shown me nothing. Then we'll have to remedy that, then, won't we? Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondent. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it. By burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft that by calling me son, I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command! A warning to you both! Choose to follow me, or oppose me, and I will kill you.
should make sure the village is safe. Radun hagedun za shewe next ti ohnu jera wa kanu tunyu we do got ti ko oya lungwe aye zene sege unka giga oya lungwe de ohne gujes charles lee no ana tu kwa ya sago ya to hawe kanu dogu dano do kala ni hadi na hoda ka nu mo ni hone nu wa de sago di da stana ti ni hadi ayun ki hun ta Ya, ya te tkari ho yeri. Ona jera di deza ni ku hare. Ya ko tha deza du hundoni ne gi ko ne aya go deriyo. Ona ti ascha ga ne te dom zo hun ta ke das ne. The was it done, Nico? No, Oda. We go more glory near Charles Lee, but three out of the hundred don't want to know you can't want to. Don't go easy. I say, you know what is it? A toga tigarungwe. We hundreds of these are not going to deny you. 
Zia Sade Nyanda the squat ni Goragani. Nick the owner gone rune de Yungwan who guard him there. They got new scar, Giga neck the young got new scars, you walk when you has any ask way out the new stats again. Then you saw Nigor at the hunto. Then what does it want ducks out there? Nezungwe does some. Ah, there is some. Got the rest of no nuns are here. Ha! Ha! Yo, Tena, that is a dance. And she got all its done. Redden Hagedum, Charles Lee, Mountmouth, was at the Hajib. A second heart to Masse, Zina Hold and Patriot, Redden de Uni. Jura Saga, a second Nasset. Oh, Doc, thank you, come on, dear Dio. Run a Dio, oh, the Queen. Unge nungwe da summa. Oh, die hat den Start unge. Iwe re ya na wandu ta ingwa ya den Start unge. Ona wasa deresa yunja daro.
shunned for as long as it takes. If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what precious little ground we have gained. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must not have been in vain. Now go! Bring the fight to our enemy! Make them rule the day they marched upon us! Connor, my friend. You have arrived just in time to bear witness to our glorious victory. Where is Charles Lee? Goes up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. I grant you my finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. There is nothing they will not do to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. We'll push these red coats back yet.
some time to burn! Low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape.
Can you quickly! Let's be done! Do not worry about the red coats. Go join the others. Well done, my friend. You have saved many lives today. Connor? Charles Lee has betrayed you. He forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy, and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Enjoy your victory, Commander. It will be the last I deliver you. Something's happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. I always knew it would come to this, just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end, to see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world, ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source, leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want, for us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. It might be I'm risking my life, risking all our lives to save an asshole. What else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This... this is a bad idea. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. 
Subdue the subject, please. Where's my father? <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he?
give me the apple. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection? <laughs> it's stupid. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Inya is just a robot. Yet. Get out! Was that? Not so fast, Mr. Miles. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm the one calling the shots. Now give me the apple. You want it? Fine. Here it is. 
Wait! No! never should have come here. You put everything on the line. For what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. could be saved. We sought to face the sun's wrath and contain it. Four towers would be built to pull her fury into this place and dispel it. But even with all we knew, with all we had, it would take too long. A thousand years we could labor and still the work would not be done. The first tower was never completed. The project abandoned. We moved on. But while we labored on other endeavors, a few returned. They thought to automate the process. Metal might finish what flesh could not. If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. 
Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. But it was time we did not have. So we moved on. One way to find out. Hey, do you think killing Vidic set Abstergo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus, but they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. Hmm. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learned the answer, and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Once placed, a sentence would be uttered. Make us safe. In this way we would change the consensus. 
we would save the world. But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward, but there was no way to maintain control, to direct the beam, to enthrall the world, to speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Our first instinct was to travel back, to change the past, but we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves, and know what was to come. First we watched to learn if our work would succeed, but the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things, but she remained, the one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seem like grasshoppers in our own eyes and we look the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the Apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the Apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on and then... Failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful.
today. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know, maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next and then, I don't know. They must have left at some point, after the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed to protect it. So now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. approached, one that was dark and cold. It would consume us, for we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice, not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive, but his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release, for days, for weeks, for months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But there, there wasn't, wasn't one. Not, not for him. him. Not, not for, for us. us. Consciousness but a series of electrical impulses. And the body a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a new vessel, 
one that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. To leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered though, were they right to turn away? Did Vidic put you in an animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track you back here. Oh, they definitely tried, but I made things difficult for them. You can resist, you can cloud up the transmission, or just refuse to move. Eventually, they would have gotten what they needed, but it still would have taken them weeks. Vidic threatened to put me in a coma once. It would have made you more pliable. But if the user isn't engaged, it's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others sift through those memories. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the Animus. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. Hey, Desmond, didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No, he indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved, but it's very hard to know for sure. We'll just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The Loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army, their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. 
Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation, and through it, peace. Connor, he's asking for you. Hello, Connor. <gasps> Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. Connor, I came as soon as I could. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Charles Lee may have been dismissed, but it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly, so I will go under instead. Incroyable. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. 